1368 to Marion. Go ahead for Marion. Can you advise a rundown of the events from last night for Marion County? 10-4, hold channel and stand by. All right, well, here's your weekly rundown. We're going to start on what happened on Tuesday and work our way up to today. Well, we had someone unlawfully enter the victim's unlocked. Thank you, Lauren. There it is. Unlocked 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe and stole a wallet. Yes, a wallet was in there containing $360 while it was parked at the victim's residence, 12,300 block of Southeast 100th Court. Well, also on the same day, someone entered another victim's unlocked vehicle. It was parked in the victim's residence located in the 4800 block of Southwest 144th Street. And when they entered that vehicle, the suspect stole another wallet. Mm. See a trend here. Gosh. Well, they had told U.S. currency and multiple lighters, some other items. Lock your doors. This is why we're ringing this bell, trying to let you know you got to lock them. It's preventable crime. Absolutely. Well, technology apparently causes feuds sometimes. Deputy Riley Artman arrested Deandra Brown for battering a co-worker while at work at the Zaxby's off Southwest 17th Court. Brown stated she battered the victim due to the victim harassing her on Twitter. In another incident, Deputy John Gernert responded to the 10,200 block of Southwest 74th Court and arrested a juvenile defendant after she kicked a 71-year-old family member in the back for not returning her cell phone. Holy moly. Okay. I'm glad we got those folks. Oh, yeah. Well, Deputy Kit Peterson conducted a traffic stop in the 300 block of Northeast 36th Avenue, and they found that that tag did not belong to that car. And during the traffic stop, K-9 Deputy Jeremy Nix and our buddy K-9 Drago alerted on the vehicle. Well, the search revealed drug paraphernalia in the possession of occupants Eric Davis and Courtney Folds. So both defendants were transported to our Gold Star Hotel. Cannot hide anything from the nose of Drago. Absolutely. Good job, Drago. Well, Deputy Kevin Johnson responded to the 400 block of Northeast 55th Street in reference to a stolen boat and trailer. The victim stated that the 16-foot Carolina Skiff 40-horsepower Mercury boat and its trailer were removed from the location overnight. Later on in that shift, Deputy Todd Winkler located the boat and trailer in the 9,000 block of Northeast 199th Street Road. The boat's motor was missing, so this investigation is ongoing. All right. Well, Deputy Billy Dietrich responded to the Reddit Collier Elementary School in reference to a suspicious subject on the school property. Well, the subject, Bocasa Ty Gaines, was seen walking around the school's media center. Gaines was approached by several school personnel who said that Gaines did not make any sense, and when he asked to go to check in at the front office, Gaines pushed through one employee and hit another. Wow. Well, Gaines was arrested and transported to our Gold Star Hotel. Take that very seriously. Absolutely. No trespassing on school property. You have to check in at the front desk right. with we'll a valid um, photo ID. We are going to protect those kids. Absolutely. Deputies responded to the 2200 block of Southwest 160th Court in reference to locating Frank A. Butler, who earlier on in the day had committed an aggravated battery on a female victim. Deputies found Butler hiding in his motor home under the bed in a storage compartment. Butler was arrested and transported to the Gold Star Hotel. Really brave guy there. You know, hit somebody, hit a girl, and then hide under your bed. Mm. Well, we will find you. So, <laughs> hey, there's your rundown. So like us and share us on Facebook. And we'll give you the rundown again on Tuesday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Mm -hmm.